God, read that again. So this is a message from uh, the container manager that we just got. Hi, Oliver. We tried to release your cargo. Unfortunately, however, the release from CMA CGM has not yet occurred in the system. Shipping company, man. <gasps> Avocado! <laughs> oh, container! Container! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy! Thank you! <laughs> I think I was never so happy to see a container in my life, really. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the one? <laughs> Should we have a look if it's still like in one piece or if it's completely destroyed? This is it, we're opening the container. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry we take so long. Sorry, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. That's really kind. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Aha. One more, more. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Okay. On the road again. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Wow, how does it feel? I don't know, it's crazy to be back on the bike. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sweating buckets, man. Oh, why do they have to pick such a hot day to pick up this bike, eh? I can't believe we, uh, the last time we drove was in the crazy busy Dakar. Uh-huh. And now we take it out and now we're driving in the crazy busy <laughs> Rio. Yes, I know. Our first views of Rio on the bike, look at this. Wow, look how beautiful Rio is! Nice! Look, the mountains around here, absolutely stunning! Yeah, it's in such a beautiful location, Rio, surrounded by the mountains, and what a beautiful time to ride it as well! Just at sunset, ah, oh, it's amazing! Amazing! Woo! Wow, look at this place, look at that! Galop Mountain just in front of us. Oh yeah, just up there. Cool. Yeah, and as soon as you get out of the central busy financial district, the city center, it's just so much greener, there's more trees as you head into the south and these massive cliffs rising up in between the ocean and the city. It's such a beautiful backdrop to the city. It looks absolutely stunning. The guys at Ego Moto here, they are gonna uh, do everything that's necessary to get us going for the next leg. Exactly. Change yeah. the air filter, mm -hmm. change the oil filter, change the oil, basically give Bumblebee a good round of TLC. <laughs> Well, that doesn't look that bad. Quite romantic when you think about that the sand here is from the Mauritanian desert, the Moroccan <laughs> desert, a little bit from Senegal as well. Yeah. So it's the whole history of the journey all in these little grooves. Our brake pads 
were very, very low. Look at that. There's like nothing. That's that's no. a new one. <laughs> well, nothing. No it's over. Way. Wow, crazy. You Did not see. Yeah. Eh? yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Bumblebee has never been so ready in her entire existence. That is crazy. And look, look, look. We got a little Brazil flag going on as well. <laughs> I think it's time to jump on and do a little tour of the city. Oh no, guys, we really wanted to show you the most famous attraction in Rio, Christ the Redeemer statue. Up on the top of the, uh, <laughs> the rock is literally right in front of us. But as you can see, it's all cloud. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Christ the Redeemer. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got out of the city a little bit now. We're just on the run up now to the bridge that crosses over from one side of Guanabara Bay to the other. This is like the bridge that signified the start of South America for us. This is leaving Rio. This is heading out on the open road. Oh yeah. my God. Exactly, it feels like that the trip is just starting right now. Yeah. Wow. And you can see over there, I can't really swing my head around much further, but that is Rio, over there, behind us now, leaving Rio behind. These guys just given us some pineapple. <laughs> pineapple. Pineapple. A Portuguese? Abacaxi. 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 Oh, look at this beautiful beach. Yeah, this is one of the closest that we've been able to ride to the ocean so far. Look at this. We're like. 10 meters from the ocean here, wow! <laughs> Amazing! That's not a bad location. Oh look, there's a vulture. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> That's cool, wow! We've had quite a lot of rough roads today, to be honest. A good practice day. I've got to keep concentrated on a road like this. I really pray that this campsite exists. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I just hope that it doesn't get much worse. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely gotten a bit worse. Okay. It's okay though. It's okay. We just have to keep an eye out if it starts getting really crazy, crazy bad. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit rough, this road coming up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. A little bit sliding. That was a, I think that was a little bit of mud. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Just had to keep balanced. What is this? I have no idea. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, the road just turned from bad to worse. Now it's like some sort of broken tiling. Just going to have another look on the map and make sure that we're actually heading in the right direction before we take on this last little bit. Okay, we've had a look and it uh, looks like we're still a couple of miles away. So we're going to try and push on and hope that it's doable. <laughs> oh, how do we have to end the day like this, eh? All right, let's just go a little bit. Just come through it's all okay. this bit. Yeah, I just got to get through this bit with all the tiling. 
Ja. Is het oké? Ja. Here we go. Crazy. Wow. Here we go. Whew. This is not easy terrain. This is one of the most difficult little roads that we've ever been on, I think, really. One of the toughest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Down there in the valley, Nova Friburgo. And all the mountains everywhere around. And this nice little flat patch of grass, <laughs> which no one else is here, it's just for us. <laughs> this is the camp. Wow. So was it worth that road? 50-50, hey? No. You know, at the end it's always worth it. tried to wake up for the sunrise this morning. <laughs> we nearly made it! <laughs> As you can see around us, it's foggy in the mountains. <laughs> oh look, there's a sign for capybara. <laughs> That's a new one for us. We've had camels in Morocco and now capybara in Brazil. I would love to see one of those crossing the road. How cute! Look, look, look. Cool. Oh. Yeah, our uh, overlander space camping is uh, coming up in two miles. Yes. So we're really getting there. We've made our way through the mountains. <gasps> oh, there's Capybara. Uh, oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. Capybara. <laughs> 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 Bravo, <laughs> bravo, just on the side of the road. I can't believe it. And one was really big. They Did are you really big. They're like little pigs. One was really big and I think it was the mom and then two were really small. Oh, finally found a lay-by. Oh, man, we got to stretch our legs. Oh my god, look at this bridge. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god, that's a little bit of a dodgy one that was. <laughs> Oh, on the platform. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, he said I can go just straight to the front. Okay. Just to here. Oh, yes. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. It was a little bit dodgy. <laughs> There's dodgy coming on and dodgy coming off. <laughs> Here. Oh, sweetheart. Perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, we made it. Wow, look at this place.
<laughs> Whoa, look at this. Cool, hey. That's crazy. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. Where you're going, you can rest your head. Where you're going, brightness looks. Guys, we just turned around because there was a sloth <laughs> on that side of the road. Yeah, so cute. He was climbing very slowly up the hill. As they do. We're going to see if we can stop and have a look. Go slowly. What Should would it like? be. Just here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's oh, just yeah. there. Wow, look at that. <gasps> wow. <gasps> wow. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, look at him. Wow. He's unbelievable. He's unbelievably cute. It's the first time that either of us have ever seen a sloth. Oh my goodness. It's with a little baby as well, and the guy's trying to move him away, put him on a tree. Look how many lanes is going on here. There's wow. at least three over there, one over there, four here. It's wow! Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines and a bridge. And an <laughs> overpass because there just wasn't enough on the ground. <laughs> Guys, how many cars are here? I've never seen, I've never seen roads like this anywhere. And I was like uh, scared to ride in, in Paris. <laughs> We've had to resort to going through the traffic like this, like all the other bikes. But I must say, it's pretty dodgy. Yeah, I don't like it too much, but otherwise we would stay here probably for uh, two days in this traffic it's, jam. It's a massive jam okay, and be it careful goes here. on for ages. Ah, that's too tight. That's too tight. Too tight. It's basically dark now. We are just under a mile away. And we've switched from the highway to the crazy up and down hills. Yeah, they said don't drive in Sao Paulo at night. Whatever you do, don't drive in Sao Paulo at night. adorable hey <laughs> good morning world welcome back to the channel it's day number 200 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle <laughs> see what we just found on Oli shoe little butterflies <laughs> what are we gonna do with them so we decided to put them safely on Jairo's window okay let's see hopefully they will survive wow they're moving around my GPS says 
stay on this road for 188 miles. <laughs> oh. What's that noise? I think our chain. We have to uh, get an oil on it. How's that looking? Looks good already. A little bit more. Lubed up and ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I have no idea how they got that on top of those rocks. That is a that's skillful. I mean these are artists. Crazy! It's just burning here. I don't know if this is on purpose. Look at that. Wow. So I just saw the sign to say that we have entered our third state in Brazil, Paraná. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, Sao Paulo. Goodbye. Time to explore our next state. We have only six miles to go, but it's looking super dark and scary now, and the wind has really picked up. It looks like a storm is coming in, and it's like literally blue skies, no more than an hour ago. Oh my god. Whoa! I think we uh, missed our opportunity by about 10 minutes. Oh my god. Oh sh I mean this is now ridiculous. Triles das Cataratas. The waterfall trail begins here. kind of a view, hey? Wow! We've only been on the trail for a few yeah. minutes and already we've got some amazing wildlife. Some more coatis! Yes. Right here, right here, right here! Oh, look, he just went past us! <laughs> oh, I think there's another one over there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go. Oh my god, there are two more! Three more! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Argentina! Good luck, Lavi. We've got a lunch guest. Oh yeah, he definitely can smell the cheese balls. Oh my god, we're not gonna feed you, buddy. I'm sorry. 
Sorry, dude. You have to find some worms. Find some worms for yourself. You are so cute. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. He stole my banana. Disaster. We just uh, got here to the night bus station and found out that all buses to most major cities from Foz do Iguazu have been cancelled. They just uh, announced the election here in Brazil, the election result. The supporters of Bolsonaro have basically blocked most major roads in the south of Brazil, uh, including the road that we need to get to Curitiba. Everything is blocked off, no one can travel, the streets are burning, it's like really crazy stuff going on at the moment. So basically, bottom line is Bumblebee is going to have to wait a bit longer and we are stuck here in Foz do Iguazu. We'll see what happens in a couple of days. Thank you so much, okay, awesome. Thank you, have a nice trip. Bye bye. Thank you, bye bye. We're getting reunited with Bumblebee tomorrow Woo! back on the road here we can see the remnants of the roadblocks and this is actually this was actually a pile of tires that were on fire crazy you can see here here was where well one of the many many places where protesters actually set tires on fire blocked the road with trucks and basically protested the election result i think they're blocked around 300 roads that's insane 300 we have entered blumenau the germany of brazil At the heart of the city lies Park Villa Germanica, a replica traditional German town and stage for the biggest German party in the Americas. Capital Brasileira de Cerveja, the Brazilian capital of beer. What do you Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning from the three of us in our tent. <laughs> we have a new travel buddy. Just ran over in the morning and was like, your tent looks comfy, I want to come in there. Hey. Hey. Oh yes, he's a kitty. Where's your eyes? Yes! Here he is, how are you? To the way? To the way! Whoa, look at this! 
ready for the road! <laughs> 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 Ilha da Magia. Ilha da Magia. Wow, look at this. We've reached this amazing ocean road, the other side of the island. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Caldo Cana. Oh, okay. Uh, sugar cane. Bom dia. Oh. 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 Oh, obrigado. Obrigado. Para ti. Cheers. Cheers. Up there? Yeah. Okay, I try. Let's see. Okay, let's try. Ready? Yeah. All right. Nice and easy up to the camp. Look at this up here. Wow. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Nice. Wow. Whoa, look at this. That's epic, man. Cool. <laughs> look at this view. <laughs> oh my god we're like on the edge of a cliff Woo! see sí, que lindo we have fire lavi's just cooking us up something over there me and Nikos just sorted this baby out. Yes. Not bad, hey? Not bad. Thank you. <laughs> Hossies. Good morning, Hossies. Good morning. <laughs> oh, okay. Very close. A bit sandy. Can't maneuver so easily. Oh, going over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> See. First fall here in South America. Wah, wah, wah. It's time to go have a look at this crazy road. <laughs> wow, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> Oh my god! It looks so epic! Wow! Hold perfect! 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 Wow! So I think there's only one thing left to do <laughs> and that's to go and ride it! Oh! Nearly stepped on a kawachi. Look at that. Wow. Oh my lord. The views are amazing. Look at that, it just drops off the edge. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, epic. <laughs> oh, look how many are down there. Crazy. Whoa. So pretty. It is so pretty. Shoo. Little waterfall. Nice. Yeah, this is one of those bucket list roads for sure. Whoa, look at the cliffs. Amazing. 
thank you, Nikos. And thank you, Brazil. Oh my God, look wow. at this. Whoa, this has changed so much here. Look how, wow. how crazy bad the visibility is now. Whoa. Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, Harley. Good morning, Nikos. <laughs> Good morning. Ready to start an awesome riding day. It doesn't get better than that. Check out the place where we stayed. How amazing. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh we, my God. We've arrived at the top of the world. Beautiful. Beautiful. More, more. Mas, mas, lindo. Look at that. It looks like a lost world down there. us and John Mayer <laughs> having a break at the top of Brazil <laughs> at the top of the world I think this is my favorite spot here in Brazil so far can't get much better views than that look at that Look at this, woo, jeez. Look at these cliffs. Unbelievable. Hey. So crazy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Be careful, careful. Yes. We see you, Patagonia. Bye bye, Nikos! <laughs> there we go. That's Nikos heading north, us heading south. Until next time, Nikos. We see you next time. So, this is us entering our last state in Brazil. Woohoo! Look at this! Nice! Wow! How beautiful! Oh my god, I was looking for something like this for ages. Just like a nice river in the mountains or in the hills, surrounded by trees and greenery. Prohibited traffic. Should we ride down and have a look? Oh. Look at this road. Whoa, this is some kind of engineering project here. Look nice. at this. and the guys invited us in. Check out this bus. <laughs> this is not a bus, this is like a castle. The name of this is the Green Parrot. <laughs> Arara Azul. Green. Cool. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Big bed. Big bed. 
with a TV all perfect for four people. We have two motorbikes. Oh no way! It's a whole. Very nice. Wow. Obrigada. Time for some coffee and some breakfast. It's a wonderful day today. Bumpy roads, <laughs> take me home. <laughs> okay. Got some big old turns. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> Just about. Whoa, got some views coming up over there, hey? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> There's the thing about dirt roads, you can't really look around. You have to concentrate on the road. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Wow. Definitely some proper off roading here. Yeah. It's an adventure, hey? Woo! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This road is definitely an adventure. Crazy stuff. <sighs> My God. <sighs> oh, <sighs> look at that! I think we are at the top. Good work. Oh yeah, yeah. And we didn't fall. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nice. Guys, there's some emus in this field. Wow. Oh. Not even joking. Wow. Whoa. <gasps> How cool! Wow, nice! How cool! So I just looked it up, and these are not emus from Australia. These are rheas. They're actually native to South America. Amazing! That's so cool! Okay? <laughs> How close? Oh no way, look. Wow. It looks like we might be able to ride right onto it. <laughs> the sand is pretty compact actually. Cool. Let's just check this out. No way. I think we can ride on the longest beach in the world. Yes! Look at this. <laughs> here it is. Wow, how cool is that? Look how many cars here. The longest beach on the planet. Playa del Casino. <laughs> wow. <laughs> cool. Hey, let me just go across, yeah. Oh, the sand is actually very, very compact. It's like riding on tarmac. Amazing. Oh, no way. It's amazing. I did not expect it to be that easy to just come here and ride. <laughs> oh my God. That's absolutely amazing.
guys. Look how many capybara there are here. <laughs> oh, how cute. oh my god, this is like a capybara paradise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like hundreds. Oh my god. Just absolutely hundreds. And look, this one on the beach over there. There's one on the beach. He's the one swimming. And there's one in the mud. Oh my god, look at them. <laughs> Hundreds, oh my god, just hundreds. They're just relaxing. They are just having a good time, aren't they? Wow. Beautiful creatures. Wow, and they're in the field as well. Look, and they're in the field. <laughs> are they farming them here? I, those are sheep in the background, no? Oh, and then they're on this side as well, look, he's walking. <gasps> Wait a second, I think you have to turn around. Maybe there was a, either a crocodile or alligator. No. Yes, 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 Are you yes, yes. Me? No. Are you actually kidding me? Okay, I will turn around for that. A little bit further. There. <gasps> oh my God, it is an alligator. <gasps> wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. This is a safari now. <laughs> oh. That is massive! How did you spot that? I don't know. Oh my god. It's big as well, eh? Today we're going to be crossing the border into Uruguay. Whee! So nearly 40 days after leaving Rio de Janeiro, we have made our way... Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> no! You can't... <laughs> you can't sit on my map. Hey! All right, fine. Where are we then? Go on, tell us. Oh, oh I can't be mad at you. Very oh, cutie, woody. These dogs. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is really hard to film with these dogs around. Look how much they're screwing up our map. It was definitely an amazing 40 days riding around here, exploring all the way from Rio de Janeiro down to the border here of Uruguay. I think we have explored this area. We have ridden the mountains, we have been to the beaches and all of the beautiful forests in between. We saw a lot of animals, also meeting a lot of locals here, riding around with no locals and staying at places from friends. It's really cool as well. We had a lot of nice camps here and a lot of nice rooms. Yeah, definitely five star rooms and five star views in our camps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that. Super cool. <laughs> okay, this looks like our border post. Well, I'm sure somebody will tell us something here. Yeah. Is there one? Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, we've parked up. I'm gonna go bring the documentation over to those guys and see what happens. Oh no, they turned us away from the Uruguay border. So they told us that we need an insurance policy to enter Uruguay. We didn't have it. So they said, luckily we can get it in the town of Choi, which is just in front. We are gonna make our way over there. They recommended a couple of companies. So we'll head into Choi and we'll look and see if they're open. Good luck. Okay, so we got an invoice because uh, we can't pay there. Now we have to go over to an invoice paying place that he's given me the address. And we've got to pay this in and come back to him to prove that we've paid. And that should be everything for the insurance. Okay, so I went to try to pay the invoice, but unfortunately my card our card did not work they only take uruguayan cards so then i tried to withdraw cash from the bank uruguayan bank and that didn't work at all and apparently it's the only bank in town so we had to go to the brazilian bank which is bradesco and withdraw more brazilian money hey alice and now we have to exchange this Hayalis for Uruguayan pesos because it's really interesting actually in this town Choi this side of the road is Brazilian the Brazilian banks Brazilian language but if you go on this side everything is Uruguay Spanish 
and actually on Google Maps the border is right here it's the official border right in the center of the town pretty cool stuff hey success the invoice for the insurance has been paid and we got a whole load of, of Uruguayan pesos it's time for us to make our way into Uruguay Woohoo! <laughs> hey! We are in! We've made it into Uruguay! <laughs> Country number eight! Yes! Feliz días! ¿Sabes cómo me llamo yo? Como el nombre mío? Panamá? Bakker. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Buenas, buenas. Buenas. Disfruten, disfruten. Bienvenido. Yo soy un envidioso. Envidioso, viste. Va a querer yo quiero hacer esto de ustedes. <laughs> I think we came out with a lot of stuff. <laughs> so there's some sort of quiche, some bread, some eggs. This one, I think, is a traditional sweet thing they have here in Uruguay called algo dulce. Look at that. It's like nuts, pastry, chocolate. <laughs> Our dessert. <laughs> yes. yes. Wow. Mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Not bad? Mm -hmm. After a beautiful lunch, we continued our way south, further along the coast, where a lovely free riverside camp that we had seen on I Overlander was waiting for us near the town of Rocha. We even saw our first Uruguayan rias on the way. Amazing! So we've left the Rocha area and now we're on this little dirt road heading out into the countryside. There are some wet patches which are a little bit slippery. So we've taken the tire pressure down to 34, 38 and um, we're gonna hope for the best. Look at down there. Oh, -ho. wow, what a big view. There's another rain cloud coming. Oh my lord. Cables away, electronics away. Oh. We should arrive on the top of the tallest mountain here in Uruguay in just uh, one minute. Oh, oh no. Oh shit. <sighs> we have arrived. Is this it? Oh, yes. <laughs> Cero Catitral! Yes! <laughs> it, it may be raining really badly, but we made it to the top of Uruguay. The Garmin has taken us now on this tiny little track. It's not really a full road anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly what road that should be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Garmin seems to think that in 12 miles we'll make it to this waterfall, but it really feels like we're on some little farm track. We've interrupted some cows. Oh no. Doesn't look like they've got many places to go either. Oh, sorry guys. Just seeing if I can get around them. <laughs> this is an absolutely ridiculous road, I'm sorry. Oh man. I hope they're gonna find some space where we can get around them. Oh man. <laughs> ah yes, guys, go down the hill. That'll be good. Down the hill, down the hill. Down the hill. One's gone down, two's gone down. Guys, just stop! Down the hill! Go down! 
Okay, go up, go up. No, no. <sighs> ah, yes. Stop, stop. Baby, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, got through the middle of them then. Wow, that was a little bit of a hairy situation though. Oh. Look at this mud! This is ridiculous. You can see where I went like this, and then look, just sliding around. Look at the look at the line that we had. This part just got muddier and muddier. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Our front, front, front tire is in the ditch though. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, push. Okay. Three, two, one, push. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This road did not get easier. It, uh, it's only getting muddier and wetter. Oh man, and it's starting to rain again. Would you look at this? Ha ha! Tarmac! Bienvenidos! Park Salto del Penitente! to go to Iguazu. Well, we could have just come here. Guys, look at this. Whoa. Oh my goodness. How cute. You say that's cute? <laughs> look, Ali comes up close to a tarantula. I'm not 100% on this. Look how cute. Oh. <laughs> You know, he is kind of cute. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not 100% sure about that. Yes. A little bit of freaky wildlife for you. Maybe we could just park up here for a moment. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just stop here. Okay. Okay, Lavi's going to chuck some. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God, look at these guys. Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, look at that! This is the biggest one. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's slimy. Oh, that's slimy. Hello, buddy. You want a nice little little fish head? Whoa. 
Beautiful. We have arrived Woo! in Uruguay's capital city, Montevideo. <laughs> And here we are, Place de Independence. Ta -da! Oh, look at that! Wow! Awesome! This is called Palacio Salvo, this building. Uh, the Salvo Palace. When this building was built, it was the tallest building in South America. 100 meter tall. Yeah, amazing. That's pretty much the most famous building here in Montevideo. Thousand nine hundred and ninety nine miles. We have reached ten thousand miles around the world. Woo! Yes, <laughs> ten thousand miles. <laughs> Today we are heading to Buenos Aires! Woo! This will be country number nine. nine! Country number nine! Leaving Uruguayan soil. Goodbye Uruguay! Oh look at this! Oh! go about to hit Argentinian land Yay! <laughs> <laughs> welcome Argentina welcome Argentina <laughs> Out on the streets of Buenos Aires! Epic stuff! We made it, we're already here! Whoa, look at these! These are some grand buildings! Wow! I think, yeah, I think this is like really the center of the center! <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, wow! Look at that, hey, what a nice sweaty city tour! <laughs> Another petrol station home. <laughs> yes. And we've got this beautiful canopy above us to protect us from... There's absolutely no clouds, so there's no chance of rain. But to protect us from something, and it feels like a home. We're stopping for our first break, but we were really hoping to cover 
hundred, more than a hundred miles before we stopped, but we're just being slowed down so much by the wind and it's so windy at the moment. Hold on, I'm just gonna come down. Oh. We've just come off the highway. We've got a bit of shade from these trees, but it's like 33 degrees at the moment. It's really hot, it's really windy, no nice views. No. <laughs> Pretty hectic. We've just joined the Ruta 3 and the Ruta 3 is pretty much the same road that we'll be taking for a long, long, long way south into Patagonia. But hopefully it's not going to be this windy the whole way down. We have to activate our air condition. <laughs> saturated. Oh, it's cold. Woo. Woo. Oh. Woo. It's nice, eh? Oh. Oh. It's like painfully cold. <laughs> we were just about to leave and this guy comes up and just gives us some alfajores. <laughs> yes. This is like a traditional Argentinian cake, shortbread cake. This guy here gave us them. Gracias. Gracias. Bueno, vos sabés, le apretás ahí. Another one pound fifty down, but um, I'm feeling pretty tired today after last night's sleep. It was not too great, and this crazy wind and everything. So yeah, coffee's good. Coffee's good. We still have ninety six miles to go as well. So. Finally, after nine hours on the road, we pulled into the small town of Balneiro El Condor, our rest stop for the night, and the deputy mayor of the town was waiting for us at the entrance. Well, maybe he wasn't actually waiting for us, but he was there when we arrived at least. He welcomed us to the town and told us that the parrot colony we were about to visit was actually the largest colony in the world with more than 37,000 breeding pairs. Go, go, go! <laughs> Before the sunset! Hey, you can hear them all. Look up here! Can you hear that? Wow. That's crazy! They're so loud! There's like hundreds of them along the cliffs here. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Is there somebody? We haven't seen any people such a long time. Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? <laughs> Just taking a break in the middle of the Patagonian desert. It's really nice views around here. It's epic. And we've got 127 miles to go to reach the camp for tonight. This is a really, really big place. After our break, we pulled into a petrol station to fuel up before heading onto the Valdez Peninsula. But a slight lapse in concentration put us in a tricky situation as we accidentally put our tank bag on over the fuel cap with the key still in, bending it a full 90 degrees. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Now, 
basically straighten that thing out. We have to go to, to a key maker to make us a new key. Hold on just a minute. Works. <laughs> Fixed it. It's a little bit bent, but it works. Ha! Oh, hello! <laughs> wow! That's amazing. Hello, guys. Oh, the oil went running off. <gasps> wow! He just jumped the fence. Incredible! Oh, look how big they are. Beautiful creatures. Six AM. <laughs> Say goodbye to our tent. <laughs> Let's see some orcas. Did you hear the elephant seal? No, I didn't. Did you hear him? No. no? Oh, there's some elephant seals on the beach. <laughs> Loads. Whoa. Loads. No. like there's any orcas we haven't seen any any killer whales so far this morning which I think the elephant seals are very happy about because this is their prey right here on the beach oh wow there's a little penguin just here so one penguin invited us already to his home and he said there's a big party going on so let's check it out Interesting. Uh huh. There's penguins literally all over these cliffs just here. <gasps> and all over the yes, beach. Yes, and all over there as well. And a can of peas, <laughs> which is really hard to open when you've only got this thing. Mmm, yummy. It's not too bad. It's not too good. <laughs> we will survive, hey? Hello. Nice. How oh, is that? Yeah, Madilla just ran past us. Oh my god, we were about to leave, but we finally saw one! Yes! An orca! Woo! Uh, hold on a minute. Hunting for orcas, round two. We're back here at the same place we were yesterday morning try to find orcas and today the rangers here have told us that there are orcas out here but at the moment they're in the distance and yes. uh, they might be coming in so if we're really lucky we might get to see them we have orcas so worth to come back. <laughs> yeah. Waking up at five o'clock, I'm in. 
I do that every day for this. I'm so local now. Look at that. And what is this you're drinking? Ah, mate tea. Do you say tea? No, no, mate tea, no, mate. Big mistake. <laughs> mate. 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 Mm. It's delicious. Today we are going to be making our way down the Ruta Nacional 3 and then coming off around here. Oh, hello. So, get off my map. Hey, Ava. It's super windy out here on the open plains. This time of year in this region is just every day wind, 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 wind coming down from the Andes Mountains and running across us over to the coast. It's a real crosswind. The wind is quite uncomfortable. And to be honest, it might continue like this all the way down the coast for the next 1,000 miles. Oh my god. So we've got 13 miles to get down to Punta Tombo. Yeah, I think we will stop and let our tire pressure down. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. And let's maybe have that. a small snack as well. And let's have a snack as well. <laughs> <laughs> because it's already. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. Look how deep that was. Oh man. Hola. Okay. Tres, dos, uno. Go. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Inglaterra, Alemania. Yeah, see. Sí. We've got our tickets and there's only one thing left to do. See some penguins! so many of them along this beach. Wow. Another amazing spectacle of Patagonia, hey? Wow. Incredible. Back on the Ruta National 3 now and the wind is back as well. Perfecto. All right, tire pressure good. Let's take on this dirt road. It's an absolutely epic landscape here. Incredible. Okay, let's find a spot where we can pitch our tent then. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Whee! Yes, to the most epic place in the middle of the Patagonian desert. Have a look at this. The tent behind the bumblebee. Got a beautiful sunset behind us. You've got these amazing mountains all in the background. This amazing vista. It's... Oh. Mother Nature, I am impressed. I think this might be 
one of my favorite places we've ever camped. Yeah. Oh my god, guys, look at this size of a stone tree. <laughs> wow, cool. Wow. 45 meters long. This whole area here, 150 million years ago, was a massive forest with dinosaurs eating from the tops of these trees. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It is, it's like arriving on another planet. Oh my god, really? Wow. I mean, this is like out of this world, really. Wow. You don't take a brush. He needs a brush. <laughs> this is three in one. <laughs> My hair is really sticking up everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that will do, hey? So we're just preparing ourselves for a really, really cold day. But I have to um, to fix my gloves because, as you can see, there are many, many holes now. Just on the left hand, actually, the right hand looks absolutely fine, which is quite funny. Don't know, like, what's going on here. But anyway, so I will just uh, fix it now with some bandage, actually, just to keep the holes closed. <laughs> So I just actually put a tape over every hole I could see. So <laughs> now it looks like this. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts. Oh, look at this. Ah. So Argentina say buen viaje. And then Chile say bienvenidos. Welcome. <laughs> cool. Awesome. You want alguna fruta, banana? Unfortunately, they've told us that we can't bring our new block of cheese into Chile from Argentina. So basically, we're just going to eat as much as we can of it. Because <laughs> we're not going to let it go to waste. I think we will eat all of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's us going on. The end of the world, we are coming! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He oh. said. Uh, behind the car, I think he said. Del Fuego, just up ahead. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Coming on to the island. Here we go. <laughs> we hit land. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, gravel. Oh. 
But what a welcome to Tierra del Fuego, eh? It is raining and the temperature has just got into single figures. Nine degrees right now. Yeah, I'm really, really cold. I think I need a heated um, jacket and a heated trousers now. <laughs> just for this bit to Ushuaia. Yes. Amazing. So we just finished up the process there and then the guy said to us so where are you going to stay tonight it's obligatory that you tell me somewhere and we said oh we don't have a place we uh, we haven't booked anything oh you need a reservation and then he said to us oh there's actually a place here at the border we have a little waiting room that's heated and there's a little kitchen and if you want you can just sleep there for the night and we were like whoa yes of course we'll do that that's way better than a cold tent hey Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive! Woo! <laughs> yes, very very happy with this setup right here in this room. I don't know if you can see my face, it's very nice and red, I'm very hot, it's a good sign. <laughs> oh look the sun is greeting us! Oh, such a different day to yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that drop down there okay that's a little bit that's a little bit steep for me oh look don't at that. look don't look don't look no i want to look ah. and look the road looks like it's half falling down oh my god okay that's i'm not stopping there oh no way <laughs> oh man crazy mountain pass wow absolutely stunning really absolutely stunning here we are Arriving in Ushuaia, we just popped up out of nowhere after the pass. Look at that! The town at the end of the world. Welcome to Ushuaia! Ta -da! Here it says, Aki finaliza la Ruta Nacional 3. Here finishes the Ruta Nacional 3 which started in Buenos Aires 3,079 kilometers ago. <laughs> and we basically rode the whole thing. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. So pretty much, that's the end of the south. And now, it's just north from here all the way to Canada. Yes! That's crazy, we've just let's, turned around. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> the first milestone was like, got to reach Dakar. And then when we reached Dakar, got the bike to Brazil, the next milestone was like, get to Ushuaia the whole time. Get to Ushuaia, get to where it's nice and cool and chilly. And get sick straight away. And then get sick, because it's too chilly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look at this mountain wow. views on the way out. Wow. That's some impressive mountain views here. What a gift, eh? What a gift from Mother Nature to create something like this here at the end of the world. <laughs> Look at this aubergine bean wrap with a freshly squeezed orange and mandarin juice. This is like gourmet at the border. <laughs> We're living like kings! We should start a cooking show. <laughs> All day at the border. Yes. Okay, Bumblebee goes here. Awesome, right. Let's get the tent set up ASAP. Set it up! Hola! Hola! Good morning! So we're just coming up to the observation hut.
So these guys are king penguins, as you may have heard. The second largest penguin species in the world behind the emperor penguin. And they are absolutely beautiful penguins. Wow. After 10 days on the island of Tierra del Fuego, we are finally making our way back over to mainland Chile to the city of Punta Arenas. Thank you. Gracias. There we go. Whoa. Wow. We were just next to the ocean. <laughs> Oh the, the water's coming straight in. That's crazy. So we're just coming down now into the town Puerto Natales. And actually Puerto Natales has been on our minds since day one of the trip because this is actually one of our antipodes. So for our Guinness World Record, we have to reach two points of the globe which are on opposite sides. Uh, that's called an antipode. One antipode is Ulan Ude in Siberia and the other one is right here, Puerto Natales in Chile. Okay, yeah, somewhere I'll here. just pull off the side for a minute. Okay. And then we'll see yeah. where, oh! <laughs> there he is, Mr. Glenn. <laughs> oh, and this is over there. Oh, nice. We have done it, we have finally met up with them again. Yes. How's it going? How All right. Yeah, good. Good. Hey, traveler. Pretty bumpy road into the national park, but look at these mountains. We've reached the Glacier Mirador. Whee! We can see over in the distance, Grey Glacier just here. And the Torres and all of the crazy mountains behind over there. And look some ice over there. Some icebergs. Ice, 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 ice. Ice, ice, ice baby. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs>
at this. Man. Wow, isn't that a view, eh? Wow. Well, that is the Torres del Paine National Park right there. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, I think this is like the most, most beautiful view we ever had in our lives. When it comes to roads that we've <laughs> been on on this journey and the views that we've had in front, I mean, it's hard to beat that, isn't it? It's hard to beat that. We made it! Have been alive! Whee! Woo! Yeah, got our tent set up behind us. <laughs> and look at our view in front. And Bumblebee. Wow, not bad. What a ride. It was so, so epic. I can't believe it. I'm so excited for tomorrow to explore more of the park and to go hiking and to ride the roads here. Amazing. these horses doing here wow <laughs> amazing I don't think I've ever seen so many horses at once Hola. Hola. into the hike now and still exhausting <laughs> but I think we have probably another 30 minutes left and then we will have the views of our lives Um, oh yes, maybe this is already the uh, border. Let me oh. park up and we'll see. <laughs> that was quicker than expected. Yeah, I did not realize that we were right in front of it. What? That's funny. Let's okay. go check it out. Bienvenidos a la República Argentina. I feel like having a Martin now. So from here, there's actually two ways to El Calafate. There's the main tarmac way going that way, which is about 150 miles, or we can save 50 miles by taking this little cut through dirt road. So we're gonna do that. Now we're dirt road pros. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna try and see how we go. Yeah, don't say that too loud. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not the whoa, whoa, <laughs> it's not the greatest quality cut through, unfortunately. But uh, it's a pretty stunning place to ride through if I get a chance to look around. <laughs> <laughs> Which you don't, Jesus, that's a bumpy road. Oh man, we just stopped to fly the drone, but it doesn't look very good. I think the road might have 
killed the drone. We had a problem like this before that the gimbal broke and I think it happened again. How is it? No. No? Oh no. Now the gimbal motor is dead. It's not, uh, it's not stabilizing. Such a shame. It's incredibly rough as well. Wow. Wow, that was really rough. <coughs> ah, it's really annoying actually. Now. Whew, Jesus. So it looks like we're coming back on the Ruta Nacional 40. Yo! That is the end of our dirt road. <laughs> boat trip, boat trip, boat trip. Woo! Well, when you see the boats in front of the glacier, like another tourist boat, you can really see like how massive this thing is. It's really hard to get a sense of perspective, but I mean, it is huge. Okay, it is actually bordering on dangerously windy out here. Yeah, I mean, that's really not funny how windy it is. I don't know if I've ever seen the bike at this angle before on the road <coughs> yeah. like the amount of lean i have to do to push back against it is ridiculous wow if we had a lighter bike i'm pretty sure we'd be just blown off the road oh my god i thought we had already the worst wind in the world but no this one here is the worst whoa look at this cliff wall wow. ahead <laughs> Wow. It's absolutely crazy, man. They said we can pitch our tent somewhere around here. Perfect. So they said basically anywhere from this pole this way. So basically we could just pick in this little spot here in front. You can see how many tents there are here. Look at this. Crazy. This dirt road will take us 38 kilometers, so 20 something miles into the park, and it finishes at a lake with a glacier, and there's just epic mountains around. So let's see what we can see. Wow, look at the water, it's going fast. Wow. Whoa. Oh my oh. god! That's insane! Okay, that was bordering on dangerous right there. Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, that was like, I was like a meter away from the river and a meter away from the car. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Let me just slow down here. Yeah. I'm going to have to make my way across to this side. And then I think oh. I will stop. Oh, oh. sorry. No. Okay. Huh? 
<laughs> hola, hola, oh, muchas gracias. I, I will go here, hey? Okay, uh, okay, ready, go. Wah. Okay, gracias. A lot of wind, hey? Yeah. Okay, so we have decided that we absolutely cannot continue on this road any further. All right, we are heading out of El Chauten, back on the open road. What a stunning town, really. What a stunning town. I mean, the location with the mountains around is just... Yeah, if only you could just like turn off the wind somehow, then yeah. it would just be like perfect. Got a viewpoint here just above the town. I wanted to turn around so that we could show you guys this view ahead. Look at that! <laughs> Epic view without even hiking. This is what we couldn't see yesterday. This is Mount Fitzroy and it's a pretty epic mountain. Argentina, I am impressed. So we just stopped at this petrol station here and uh, it turns out that they don't have any fuel. We just went to the pump to fill up and they said, no, nope, they don't have any. But then Khalil here, our savior, went and spoke to them and basically told them that we were pretty desperate and we don't really have enough fuel to get to the next petrol station. So they went in the back and brought these guys out, some emergency fuel, it's like one and a half liters. And apparently this is like for emergencies when people really don't have fuel, just for desperate people like us, hey? Thank you, Khalil, very much. It was because of your sweet talking that they uh, brought those out. <laughs> we are hiding in this like ditch down on the side of the road because up here, I can tell you, start of the dirt road, the start of the damned 73 kilometers. Apparently that's like the official name, that's what people call it. So we've let the tire pressure down, we're gonna have a little snack, refuel, and then we're gonna give it a go. There's something up ahead. Oh wow, look at this. Oh wow, okay. Well, there's Just no one in it. Maybe it hit the brakes too hard and then slid. Yeah, it looks like he nearly fell off the edge of that cliff. Yeah. Man, dangerous road, hey? Dangerous roads. It's just too much gravel. I do not understand why they cover it in such an amount of gravel. We made it to fuel! Whee! Yes! <laughs> Bravo! Yeah, I don't know if we would have made it without that extra couple of bottles that we got from the other petrol station, really. So yeah, I didn't run out of fuel, didn't Perfect. fall over. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Wow. Okay, here we go. I mean, how am I not going to run these dogs over? Seriously. Wow! <laughs> we were really cornered by these dogs. Oh my lord. So we just had a look this morning and we found out that those bolts that I did up yesterday, it's probably the first time I've had to get out our toolkit. We are skilled enough to tighten some screws. <laughs> yes. Actually, one of them is now completely missing. Just here. There's still another one up there that I just tightened now but they apparently came loose again on the dirt road yesterday. Uh -huh. I just need the word for bolt, if you could look it up. Tornillo. 
Hola. Tornillo um, uh, dos milimeter uh, the motorcycle uh, tornillo uh, perdu this one uh, dos uh, dos milimeter uh, aquí uh, perdu mm, vamos a ver I think he said he's gonna look aha mucho okay mucho sí sí okay okay found one that works entra Sí. Gracias. Sí. Yes, sí. yes. Sí, perfecto. Yeah. Perfecto. You guys will never guess who one of these bikers is, <laughs> but he is here. He is here. <laughs> Mr. Nikos. There he is, all the way from Brazil. How are you? Tulubeng, oh, Tulubeng. <laughs> and this is Nikos's bike. Whew, this one right here, look at this. So Nikos has a present for us. Look at this. Lavi and Ollie stickers. Woo! Stickers for everyone. And look, he's already stuck one on his rear box. Look at that. Full of stuff from floor to ceiling. It's actually a hotel. And they've got rooms and a little dining area. It's a pretty cool little refuge in the middle of nowhere. And there are so many bikers coming here as well. It's like an overlanding biker mecca here. Okay, so apparently Nikos left his lights on whilst he was waiting for us here at the petrol station. And his battery is now dead. <laughs> Ready? Okay, right, let's go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Hey! So it's now 60 miles to the border. Oh man, this wind though. It's not too great, is it? It's not too great, no? Yeah, it's not too great. So these bolts that we put in this morning already went loose. So we put some tape on them to try to stop them from loosening but actually we just had a little chat and we decided that it's probably best if we just turn around and head to another border crossing 60 miles like this with this crazy wind and look at the gravel i mean it's super soft we already slid around so much also we just dropped it dropped bumblebee on the ground when trying to turn it around <laughs> Yes! Time to go to Chile! Yes! Bueno! That's us entering Chile! Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Okay, so we just lost Nikos, came back for him and uh, he sort of went really far out the side. How the hell did that happen? You ready? Oh, Three, two, one, go! Wow! That's really heavy. Okay, go. Oh, oh, watch out. The box, the box. Any damage? What happened? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this stuff together. We're all in one piece. <laughs> the bikes are in one piece. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Look at this road. Incredible. Wow. 
absolutely incredible. Can you believe the view? No, I can't. I can't. Yes! Ha ha ha! We've arrived in paradise! Woohoo! Let's have a look around. Woohoo! Let's do it! Look at this place! Oh, is this muddy? Well, here we are, camp is set up. Lavi is cooking up a beautiful, what are you cooking up? <laughs> I don't know exactly, it's just tomato sauce with some couscous and some sweet corn. Yeah. So it's quite sweet. There you go. Quite a bit of difficulty. It took a lot longer than we expected actually. But look at the view we've got in front of us. Yesterday our GoPro fell off. It completely broke. And now we just try to fix it with the foot tape. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we're fixing it's, <laughs> is with foot tape. This stuff is really good for fixing things. <laughs> I think that should just about work for today. Yeah, give it a go. Epic views in the morning, eh? Yeah, what a stunning place to camp and a stunning place to start the day. <laughs> it's like literally starting the day on the most beautiful ride that we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Don't look down, my love. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh, look at this cliff! Wow! Oh. Man, there's absolutely crazy road here! Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but our road is basically over there. <laughs> Hugging the edge of that giant cliff. Wow, super cool. <laughs> Go check out what this place has. Where's the ears? Ah, Panaki. Oh, oh, queijo. Perfecto. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Woohoo! Got something for breakfast. Let's eat. Oh, yes. And we filled up all of our water here at this place as well. They were nice enough to. Let us fill all that up. So we're going to be good to go. So we've had a good break, a good recharge. And now it's back to the road of dreams. <laughs> it just gets better and better. I just can't believe this road, man. Look at that. In a couple of miles, we'll be linking up with the Ruta 7, also known as the Carretera Austral, the southern road of Chile and people have told us that this road is just amazing as well so I think it's just going to keep getting better and better look at the blue of the water wow it's so vivid it's crazy wow unbelievable lunch break ah. <laughs> 
We've got a beautiful spot right next to this little river and it's just absolutely stunning and relaxing and tranquil. And we've got some bread, some rice crackers, some cheese. We've got some peanuts and we just brewed ourselves a nice coffee as well. Oh, yep, another another boring cliff face, another boring snowy mountain. <laughs> Man, you got anything new for us, Patagonia? <laughs> oh my god, this road though. <sighs> Seriously, this, we faced it all on this road. Some bits you're like, man, clear the gravel. And then with all these potholes, you're like, yeah, a little bit of gravel would be nice. <laughs> and now it's just very, very loose gravel. And this is one of the toughest road conditions we've had for a long time. Yeah, we are just sliding around. A lot of sliding around. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's really soft. Woo, Jesus. Oh man, <laughs> this is just, what is going on here? Oh, pavimento, 100 meters. Don't get too excited. Is it really? Is it no. true? No way. It's true. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Yes. Yeah, da, da, da. yes. We've made it here to this little village and this is a really beautiful camping spot. We've actually got some neighbours. Hi neighbours! Pizza for breakfast? <laughs> Pizza? Yes. yes. Wow, huge waterfall. Wow. wow. Cool. Nice. This road is just stunning the whole way through. It's just like really nice, windy and green. And then you have open views sometimes where you can see rocky hills. It's really impressive. So I think we have to talk about moving to Chile now. <laughs> <laughs> from flying along in the valleys to uh, sort of bumbling along in the mountains. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh god. That was yeah. We have to be careful on this corners definitely. Yeah, I hit a rock. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Yeah, I mean this looks really quite nice, doesn't it? Perfect. 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 Nice. Come on. Oh no! Maybe we have to push. Ready? Go, go, go! Hey! Chile. Argentina. Gracias! Ciao! Woo! Oh, I didn't do my blimmin' helmet out, didn't I? So we're just stopping here for our lunch break and uh, look at where we are now. <gasps> Can I get up on the rock? <gasps> ah, nice. Look at this lake. 
absolutely spectacular. We also discovered something really, really worrying. Normally the chain has this little metal gasket ring, this little roller in the middle. And uh, when we were at the hostel, we were giving the chain a bit of a clean and oil. And we found out that at least three or four or maybe even five are missing this roller. So this one, this one, this one, this one and this one, there's like no roller there anymore. It's just the metal in between. Oh yeah, there's one here as well. Yeah, yeah so basically it looks like our chain is breaking. So we contacted some garages in Santiago, which is our next major place. We organized a new chain and sprocket set and organized as well some new tires. Yeah! <laughs> because look at these tires now. This is now 15,000 miles on these Dunlop Trail Max mission tires. And the tread has gone down to probably uh, one or two mil now just important now that we make it for another 1600 kilometers to get there hope for the best come on bumblebee 1000 miles more to go it's got to go down this little ramp oh sandy ramp okay yes have a look at this some space for the tents and then down here got ourselves a little river nice hola buenos dias cool all right let's make ourselves a nice camp then you wouldn't believe it but nikos's battery is dead again he stayed here for two days and now his battery's gone. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay, go! <clears throat> Bravo. Bravo. Wow, that was crazy. We went to two petrol stations in this town and both of them had queues going for maybe one kilometer of people waiting to fill up i don't know if there's some sort of petrol shortage or something i don't know look people are even standing outside their cars yeah it looks like there's queues at every single petrol station so uh, i think we're just gonna have to wait in the end i mean the petrol station is up where those lights are so we've probably got about 10 or 15 cars in front so I think we'll just, we'll just wait, eh? Hey? Yeah. Well, it's crazy. <laughs> absolutely crazy. It's mental. I don't understand. <sighs> yeah. Well, time for a break then. Okay, so disaster. We just got to the pump and they said they didn't have super. Um, they only have diesel apparently, so I think they've run out. So we're gonna have to uh, make our way to the next petrol station, I guess, and uh, try our luck there. Okay, so we've just reached the next petrol station and look at this queue. The petrol station's way over there and it's just all the way down. So, we were having a little talk about the route. There's a pass over to Chile, which is just coming up here. So I think we'll cross over to Chile instead. So Nikos has his spare fuel on the side and he's given us a couple of liters just so we can get over to the border, make it over to the other side. And from there, it should be a little bit easier. Okay, vamos a la Chile. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. Should I jump off? Oh. I think we'll go in the middle. Okay. <laughs> some of them are like broken and stuff oh my god look at all these beautiful crazy trees on this road it's crazy because we didn't see this tree at all in argentina absolutely nowhere nowhere and, and then suddenly we come up to this pass and this tr this tree's everywhere but yeah, Ooh. it's pretty, it's pretty soft here. It's oh, a bit man. sandy, to be honest. Yeah. 
which is not too great. No. Yeah. Really not too great. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, it may be bumpy, but look at this volcano ahead. Wow. I love volcanoes. Okay, bad news. Nikos' tire is flat. <sighs> yeah, totally flat. No, it's like zero PSI. It's not even showing a PSI. Why not? Uh, where's the next town? This one here's the next town, I think. Let me see. There's nothing before. So actually, the border is not far ahead. So we are going to try and see, or Nikos is going to try and see if he can ride to the border. And then we'll follow behind. Okay, okay. Okay, so we've managed to prop it up on this side with a bit of wood and prop it up on this side with a bit of wood and then we've got a couple of bits of wood underneath so now we have just enough freedom that the tire can spin and that it can be taken off Good job, Nikos. Very good job. Vamanos, uh, Chile, hey? Let's go to Chile. Welcome, Chile. <laughs> wow, it's absolutely epic views from here. Yeah, we're getting closer to the volcano. Villa Rica. Very cool. And the wild camp is apparently one mile further up the road, so even closer to the volcano. Wow. Epic. Oh my god, I love volcanoes. <laughs> you can see the smoke coming out the top. <laughs> so we just went through a pretty difficult patch and look up ahead, it's like pretty sandy, like volcanic sand. And also after that patch, we sort of lost Nikos. I can't see him behind anymore. I think I can get up there, no problem. But I mean, at the moment, Nikos is not coming. Okay, so Nikos has reappeared. So we're gonna try and go up here, see how we get on. Yep. Whew, that's good. These guys uh, who just parked up next to us to camp here for the night, uh, they were flying a drone around, so I went and asked them, oh, can you send us some footage of the drone because both our drones are broken? And then he said, oh, you can just fly it around if you want, get whatever shots you like. So we did. A bit misty this morning to say the least but hopefully we'll get a view before we leave camp good morning good morning oh, yeah sleep good sleep good good so we were just oiling the chain this morning and I realized that we have lost another one of these little metal rings. Now we think we've got about seven of them missing on the chain. I think it's definitely about time we get to Santiago, hey? Come on! So Nikos yesterday said that one of his cylinders has stopped working. I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but he said he's just got one cylinder left. So he's having a bit of trouble to start it. Okay, gonna get him out of this spot first and then we can maybe roll him down the hill. Okay, ready, go! 
it. Yeah. Hey. We have to push him down the hill. Okay, ready? See? He's gone off. He's off down the hill and it hasn't started. I think we'll have to just catch him up and see if he manages to start it, hey? Wow, it's so misty around here, hey? Oh, I hear him. He started it. <laughs> it's a good job we're on a big hill, hey? I don't know what's happening, but they're looking into it. Ou tem que desmontar. Okay. E após ele conserta. Good. Good. Let's eat. Come in. <laughs> Look at that. Looks amazing, hey? Hard at work. Wow. Nikos, the mechanic man. We have the issue. Spark plug. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tres, dos, uno. Hey! Hey! Yes! Nice! A little bit of smoke, but it's okay. This guy's bringing his horse to the petrol station. <laughs> Something is wrong here, hey? Hello! <laughs> Hi, <everybody>. Oh, hello! <laughs> it's not every day you see a horse on the highway. Those of you who are wondering what 16,000 miles or nearly 16,000 miles looks like on a rear tire or a Dunlop Trail Max mission tire, this is what we've got. See? Bye Nikos! <laughs> so it's time for us to head different ways. But it's been an absolutely awesome adventure together. We did some amazing moto camping. Spectacular moto camping actually. Nikos, we see you're in Turkey! I cannot believe that we made it here to Santiago. I can't believe that we're finally here. Even Cholila four days ago feels like a lifetime ago already. I mean, it was so many miles, but we hit the jackpot with this Airbnb. Right now, we are on the 16th floor on the rooftop of this apartment. Look at this. Whoa. And not only that, but this apartment block has a gym, has a sauna and on the other side, a rooftop swimming pool. <laughs> what? What? What is this? I think we have to stay forever. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we also did a bit of shopping yesterday. <laughs> so this has like an armor set underneath and then this very, very lightweight top above. For the next legs, going up through South America, going up through Central America, it's already getting hot here in Santiago, 30, 35 degrees. We thought it was about time to trade in our bulky coats for something that's gonna keep us a little bit cooler. I think this is the place. There's a bunch of motorbikes out front. 
Let's go check it out. Oh, uh, no, where is the ice? I saw you on Instagram. Oh, did you? Are you the couple in, in front of the, the Cuervos del Paine? No! Oh. <laughs> Lavi and Oli. Yeah. Lavi and Oli. Tomas, Oli, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh. Just to share with you. Ah, this is by Alas Capra X. Cool. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, and this is the, this is the rear one. Wow. Yes. Nice and knobbly. Look how much tread it has. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, look, look, look. When you compare. Oh my god. That's so different, eh? Whoa. So we're just going to leave Bumblebee in the capable hands of the guys at Motos. So we're going to be back tomorrow to collect Bumblebee. I cannot wait to see how she looks. Yeah. Woo. 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 Look at the science. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Is it just me or is Bumblebee even cleaner than before? Yeah, it looks like it. Are you sure that's our bike? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this chain. <gasps> wow. That's crazy, no? Yeah, that is crazy. And the tires, wow! <laughs> it's a brand new bumblebee. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, I think we're coming up to the beginning of Los Caracoles. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look, that guy's smiling. Yeah! He's coming down, he's like, yes! <laughs> I did it! Yes! And there are 29 hairpins on this road, climbing from 800 meters to 3,200 meters above sea level. So for that reason, this really is considered one of the craziest and most dangerous roads in the world. Beach camp, beach camp, beach camp. You didn't join in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, our first encounter with the Pacific Ocean and we are camping right in front of it. What an awesome result for the day. It's a beautiful morning at the beach. Sandy start? Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> ah, traction by? Antlers, I guess. Always a little bit tricky in the morning. Yeah, if you want to get to the nice wild camps, you got to go through a little bit of difficult roads. Hola, buenas. Oh, queso. Hola. ¿Cuánto cuesta una? Esto ocho mil y esto diez mil. Oh, okay. Es diferente queso. Mucho más día. I think it might be like a mature and a fresh. Cool. Muchas gracias. Es gorgeous. Is that? It's a, a cabra. I think it's quite nice. Yeah. Perfect. Hello. 
Hello, hello. We got ourselves a nice circle of cheese, a whole block. So did you tie up your hair then? Oh my God, oh my God. The real purpose of their hair is revealed. So I would say we would just ride a little bit down and see. I mean, the road doesn't look that bad actually. No, no, it looks fine. And with our new tires. Ho, ho, ho. Traction by Anlas. <laughs> yeah, maybe some of the sandy bits here. Wow, look at this place. <laughs> it's proper desert out here. Yeah, just about all right. There's definitely a dry riverbed though. Okay. Do you think it's likely that it could have like a like a rain coming down? No, it is. Uh, we're in the desert, I guess. Hey, yeah. okay. We've set up our camp and we're now hiding under the shade of Chris's parasol. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Let me show you guys around. So we've got the tent. Set up in front of us here and around us is just all these bushes. Look at it out here. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it's beautiful. And we just saw on the sign a little while back that we've officially entered the Atacama Desert region. Yes, yeah, so it's super exciting that we actually camp the first night here in the Atacama Desert. Yes, how <laughs> awesome is that? Atacama Desert Breakfast. I think we'll need a push. Yes. Yes. How deep did that go? Oh, they got a thorny bush in my hand. Ah, hold on. Ah, hold on. Ah, okay. Yep, okay, let's go, let's go around here. Okay, there's a bit more sand here. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> push, 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 push. Okay, last bit. Yes. <laughs> that was a workout, eh? Hey? I'm actually getting quite wet from this fog. Like, I actually have wet all over my helmet and gloves. Getting wet in the driest place on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, look at this. We're riding through a giant shark mouth. <laughs> oh, cool. Bienvenidos al Parque Paleontológico Los Nidos.
Megalodon. No way. The biggest shark to exist. This is not even an adult. This no. is a, a juvenile. It's like no. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like the size no, of a no, human, no, you know? No, Just no, the no, perfect... No. <laughs> <laughs> what is the biggest animal we have today? The blue whale. The blue whale, exactly. This, the megalodon eat blue whale. Oh. Oh. This mark was made by a uh, teeth of a megalodon. Oh. That mark. So we would just be little snacks to them then. Exactly. We're just a little snack. <laughs> Welcome to the Atacama Desert! I mean, yeah, that place looks dry. Yeah, I cannot see any plants anymore. It's just sand and rocks for as far as the eye can see. And we can see for a long, long way. Finally coming to our Iovalanda wild camping spot for the night. Woohoo! Another desert camp. I mean, it's hard not to have a desert camp out here. <laughs> Let's see how the condition is and see if it's sandy or not. Oh, it's okay. Seems pretty well formed indeed. Cool, look at this. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing. Good evening, guys. We made it, happy and alive. Woo! Another day in paradise. Yeah, our tent has been set up in the middle of this. Look at this! <laughs> That's crazy! I mean, you could literally walk anywhere you like around here. It's just empty around. Wow! So we named our drones now and this one, the Mavic Mini, is called Pinky and our Mavic Pro is called The Brain. Yeah, it's a very special place here, definitely. Wow, look at that! Yeah, here we go. El Mano del Desierto, the hand of the desert. Ah. Cool, look at this. <laughs> wow, it's bigger than expected. Wow, that's massive. Cool. Look how big that thumb is. Whoa, nice. 
High five! <laughs> We just stopped at this service station here on the highway and look at these cars that are here. Wow. Look at that. Apparently this place is so remote that people can't even like get their cars to a garage or anything. They just, they just take them to here and leave them. Look at that, there's a truck, there's another one. Crazy stuff out here in the desert. We're racing the ore train. Cool, look at that. Whoa, over there is a mini tornado! Or a dust devil as they call it in Australia. Wow! Whoa, look at this crazy valley we just came into just before San Pedro. Oh my god. Whoo! What's going on here? That's epic! So I think they call this area the Valley of the Moon, the Moon Valley, Val de la Luna. It looks very, very, very dramatic. Dramatic. And we're about to stick our sticker, our new stickers that Nikos got us, thank you Nikos, up on this Ruta del Desierto Cordillera de la Sal sign. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> stick it on, stick it on. Yes! <laughs> Love you Oli, forever in the Atacama. <laughs> <laughs> Javier on the sign. Nice. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> yes. Have a beautiful trip, my Thank friend. you. A sticker from Javier's Instagram. El muñeco por el mundo. That's gonna go right here. Yes. You're on the box. Yeah, it sort of looks like people have sort of put piles of earth everywhere. Yeah, or somebody was like with an axe, you know, hacking it. Yeah, chopping it all up <laughs> into pieces. Yes. But this isn't a natural formation. This is not like a, a mining site or anything. This is this is how it formed. Look at this, it's crazy. Wow. Looks like the whole rock layers have been turned on their heads. You can see how the sedimentary layers have been literally flipped up. Amazing. Look at these guys, amazing! We just stopped here in town to come and visit the Meteorite Museum of San Pedro, which is right here. So in this display contains two types of meteorites. This is chondrite and she contains all the elements of periodic table. She's really oldest, 4,500 million years. 4,500 million years? Yes. Wow. <laughs> These were formed in the center of a planet and then fell as meteorites and now we get to hold them. Wow. This is crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Guys, look, we just reached the Tropic of Capricorn. Woohoo! Wow! Cool! Ruta del Desierto Tropico del Capricorno. Nice! Nice! Our first Chilean guanacos. <laughs> Hello, guys. Beautiful. Oh, the whole family. Yeah. Crazy, the staff at the center here 
just told us that we are sitting at 4,100 meters above sea level here. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, crazy. No wonder I feel we felt a little bit out of breath. Man, yeah. 4,100 meters. Yeah, it really takes your breath away. <gasps> takes my breath away. <laughs> yeah, but this is um, actually the highest we have ever been in our entire lives. Not in a plane, of course. And uh, she was also telling us that the volcano Miniquez, which is this one right behind us, is 5,900 meters tall. Got these crazy red rocks just over this like green blue lake with this yellow shore. I mean, it's just a multicolor volcanic paradise here. Wow. <laughs> Gracias. Whoa, coming up over Laguna Miscante. Whoa. It's a massive lagoon. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my God, look at these guys. Whoa. Oh, they're chasing each other. Crazy guys. Just stopping for a rest in uh, Socaire. We're both pretty affected by the altitude, I reckon. Um, we've both got a big headache and uh, feeling pretty tired actually. Yeah, and it's just half day actually. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Yeah, and we didn't like exert a whole huge amount of energy, you know, we, we just did like a one kilometer walk and then we were just riding around on the bike. So yeah. I think we are not acclimatized basically to this altitude to yeah. like 4,000, 4,000 plus meters. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's affecting us a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can definitely feel it. Good morning. It's a cold morning in the desert and we're going to be swimming in a salt lagoon in one hour. Number 300! 300! 300 days on the road! <laughs> Bye! Ah! The crazy thing about it is that this water is actually 18 meters deep. Which is kind of scary actually. It's like a big blackness beneath us. But the water is so salty that apparently there's nothing, there are no monsters inside basically. I just made some sandwiches with some avocado. I cut a little bit of onion on top as well. Our beloved goat's cheese. Do we still have some goat's cheese left? Yes. We still have some goat's cheese left. Yeah, I think you're transforming into a goat. Well, we're getting up high already. Look at this road. Epic views from up here. And we can still see in the background the volcano Menisquez. 5,900 meters tall and a whole load of crazy mountains of the Andes. Yeah, so pretty. I saw the sign, it said Zona de Curvas Peligrosas. The zone of dangerous bends. Uh oh. Look, these guys are eating vegetation from the, uh, from the river or lake here. Look at this. And there's a little baby one over there. <sighs> And look at this crazy volcano in the distance with covered in ice. What a crazy scene. It's an amazing view, but a terrible road. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. 
getting harder to breathe as well <laughs> Woo, Jesus we are so close to this rain cloud as well <laughs> it's literally only half a kilometer that way I reckon let's hope for the best because otherwise there will be here a big mud uh, pool <laughs> <laughs> on the way back. So the El Tatio geyser field has 80 geysers here making it the largest geyser field in the southern hemisphere and the third largest geyser field in the world. Some of the geysers have been known to erupt up to six meters high. I can see some activity over there. Oh yeah I can see a geyser <laughs> erupting. Let's go let's go let's go <laughs> check it out. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, this orange and these crazy colors, those are the extremophiles. Those are the organisms living and feeding off of the uh, minerals and, and the warmth. There was some more lightning up ahead. Oh my God. Oh, that's getting a bit scary. Hey, we've got to go back that way. Yeah, I know. But look, look, look. Whoa. <laughs> that is amazing, hey. Yeah. That is amazing. Wait, listen, listen. Is making like a gurgling gluck 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 gluck. Wow. It's not hard to imagine where the warmth from all of this guys. Oh my god! I think we have to. Oh my god. Oh. oh god. Okay, that's actually really scary. Hey. Heart attack! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god! <sighs> That's actually a very, very dangerous situation to be in right now. <sighs> Do you think we should uh, head back to the bike? Yeah, probably. Oh, I just saw another lightning strike over there. Okay. I think the best thing we can do right now is to try to get back to San Pedro de Atacama, hey? Before it gets too rainy, too muddy, too bad. Yeah, and I don't want to get hit by lightning. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you see that in the background? Yes. I don't know if I've ever been that close to a lightning bolt before. Jesus. Oh my god. Whoa, up ahead there was even more. It's a lightning day, eh? Yeah. And you just see how snowy the peaks are now of the volcanoes in front of us. <sighs> yeah, I think it's literally snowing right there. Crazy place. Okay, we've got a little bit of hail on us. Uh, the weather is not looking good and uh, the people working here basically said to us oh you guys better get on your way because the weather is not going to get better it's the worst weather for this road now and we have about two hours yep <sighs> so not cool no it's not too cool at the moment let's just uh try and press on and get down a bit to be honest from this high altitude What a weather change. What yeah. Change. I think that'll be it. Whoa. Whoa. Jesus. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> oh my God. And it's like, because of the road, we can't even go very fast to get back. I just have to like bumble along at 20, 30 miles an hour whilst thinking, am I going to get struck by lightning at any time? Yeah. Oh man, this is really, really not a good situation. It gets colder and colder getting colder and colder and we still have to climb up a little bit I really didn't expect that wow oh, it changed so fast so fast oh my god look at this valley ahead what it's like <sighs> white it's turned from summer to winter in one <sighs> afternoon in literally one hour oh Four degrees. Whoa, look at the road. Oh my god. It's completely covered. What is going on? I don't know. Okay, I think that's really dangerous actually now. Look down that road. It's just white. And our road is white. Oh my god. Eighty kilometers to get back to San Pedro. Jesus, what is that? I 
I can't I can't see anything. Oh here. Yes, here, look. Where, where? Here. Yeah. <sighs> We've lost a bolt. We're gonna have to put something in there. Cable tire. Okay. <sighs> oh my fingers. Oh. Maybe you put two in. Okay, we're gonna to have to take it much slower and easier now because we don't have that many cable ties so we cannot afford for this front mudguard fix to break again so our cable ties totally broke off fingers crossed second cable tie application is gonna take us to the edge of this corrugation so we are finally getting down into lower altitude now and literally where we are now it hasn't even rained it's still completely dry here the temperature down here is much warmer and it is amazing and i'm starting to feel my fingers again it's actually 19 degrees down here already whoa i just saw lightning over there yeah wow it nearly took us two and a half hours to go down here from up there it was really challenging but oh my god i'm so glad yeah, it was a long and cold road. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm, so, road. I'm so happy now, 19 degrees. Oh. So we've made it to our camp area, just outside of town. And it's literally raining here, it's ridiculous. How is that possible? Of all the things I expected from the Atacama, I did not expect it to be raining, storms, hail, snow in the summer i don't know what to believe anymore remember when we were in the sahara exactly we had exactly the same issue in the summer i don't know i don't understand just found out that our equipment is not working again our audio equipment so for the morning vlog we were listening back to it and there was no sound we are just now trying to dry it out a little bit and hoping that it works after as you can see here in our tent there was such a dust storm yesterday going on and it's like dust just everywhere in the tent we couldn't uh, close our tent yesterday properly anymore it was a little bit of a disaster <laughs> look how dirty bumblebee is now absolutely covered if you look over here you can see what we did yesterday to keep the mud guard attached we have two cable ties on this side and two cable ties on this side and luckily that was able to get us down the mountain yesterday. Mucho tornillo. <laughs> oh, maybe uh, uh, this one here, maybe. Así como ese. Okay, uno momento. Gracias. Gracias. But that is actually going in, which is crazy. Wow. Yes! Wow, okay. Should I try to get another one yeah. of those? Yeah. Oh, we're definitely getting up high now already because the cloud line and the snow line is pretty much just above us now. And it's pretty crazy because today we're actually going to be climbing to the highest point we'll have ever been in our whole lives and by far the highest point of the trip so far to 4,831 meters above sea level. And look! We've reached the snow line. <laughs> cool. Very cool. We are 4,831 meters. It's absolutely a crazy height to reach on this motorbike. Whoa. This is crazy high up here. Look at this giant, giant 
ring of mountains, of snowy mountains around us. <sighs> Nearly 4,800 meters up now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Out of breath. Completely. You stop, you walk around for like 10 steps and you're out of breath. Now, you know, sometimes on a trip all the way around the world, you get to roads like this and places that you just wouldn't see unless you're riding around the world. And it's days like today that make me like, definitely, definitely appreciate the journey we're on. Wow, absolutely spectacular. Yeah, it's always 50-50 because if you have any trouble with the bike, you think like, okay, the trip might be over and you're really sad. But then when everything is fixed up and you're back on the bike and then you have epic mountain views like this and you are then like, oh man, I really, really enjoy everything. Even when we have sometimes a little bit of trouble or anything like this, you know, views like this and then experiences like this just make everything worthwhile. Absolutely. This is it, we've done it. 4,831 meters above sea level. <sighs> the highest point of this road and literally one of the highest passes in the whole of South America. Wow, that's crazy. It's time to eat some snow. Yes, look, we're here with the snow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Bravo, Bumblebee. You did really well. Oh man. This is really like the top of the world here. 4,831 meters. Yee! Back down, heading into Argentina then, hey? Let's do it. We're officially in Argentina. Woo! And our first stop here is to get some cheap fuel from our good old friend YPF. So apparently they have no fuel here. Welcome to Argentina. <laughs> Let's pray for no rain. No rain. No, no rain. rain. No, no rain. rain. No, no rain. rain. Oh my God, guys. We just came around the corner and there is a huge herd of llamas. Oh, they're so cute. Wow. Oh, look, they decorate them with some stuff. No way. No, 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 just park up, just park up. Oh my God, they're so cute. What? Oh, this is like the most pretty thing I've ever seen, really. Wow. Yeah, because they've all got these colored things on their ears. <laughs> yes. Wow, they are unbelievably cute. Oh, they look like they're going to a celebration. Oh, they do. Wow. Okay, it looks like we are finally getting hit with some rain. And boy, did the rain come. We were feeling pretty good with our preparation. We had passed the Hammer border and expected to descend down into warmer and brighter weather at any moment. But little did we know that we would still be at over three and a half thousand meters elevation for the next 150 miles. As the evening began to approach, the temperature was dropping fast, but still, mile after mile, we had no choice, we had to keep riding. So it's now nearly seven o'clock and it's absolutely freezing and it's still wet, and still raining. I think the temperature at the moment is about six degrees. So we're stopping now to do some jumping jacks. And just try to warm up a little bit because we have to do another climb before we head down.
Finally, after more than 10 hours riding since we left San Pedro de Atacama, signs of civilization started to emerge and we knew that our day's adventure was at last coming to an end. They do have a room for us and it's 2,500 per person which is about 10 pounds per person. It's getting pretty dark already. It's nearly eight o'clock. Yes. So at this point, we don't have much of a choice but to take the room and uh, have a cozy bed for the night. Yes. The weather looks way better today. Have a look at this. And have a look at these cliffs all around this. This is an absolutely stunning region. Are these canyon views or what? <laughs> This is what we couldn't see yesterday. Can you believe it? Yeah, yesterday I was just terrified for my life. <laughs> I could not enjoy a proper view at all. But wow, look at this. Look at the cracks in the earth. And it's just like, oh my God. It looks so incredible. I can't believe it. Really, I can't believe it. I just want to live here now. These are really like one million dollar views. We just got out the tent and there's like a whole herd of vicuna right in front of us. They're so cute. I think they're quite interested in us as well because they're always putting their head, heads up and then looking at us. Every time we make a noise, they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. what are they doing? Whoa, look how many there are. Wow, absolutely beautiful. <sighs> cool, what a scene. They don't really know where to go. I think we'll... Uh, Leave Oof. them to it, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Bienvenidos, Monumento Natural Laguna de los Pozuelos. <laughs> Very good, my love. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye, Bumblebee. Bye, Bumblebee. We see you in a bit. Don't talk to strangers. Wow, there are so many flamingo here. Wow, look at this. I don't know what's going on here, but apparently there's a rule underneath the animals that this one here is the toilet. No way, guys. We just saw the vicunas standing on the poop pile making poo. They know the rules. What is he doing now? I think he's going to go poop. Look, look, look. There you go. That's so funny. That's poop. really, really funny. Pooping on the poop pile. <laughs> Is not the next one going? No way. Yeah. Well, there we go. Now you know, hey? The Vicunas, they take it in turns and they all poop on a poo island. What are you guys doing? Oh my lord. Don't worry, we're going this way. Let's have a look here. Oh my god. Okay. <gasps> I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, if you give me a push. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, nearly there. Three, two, one, go. Wait. Three, two, one, go. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the rains have created these like little rivers across the road, mud puddles. I hope there are not too many of them. Yeah. Coming. Hola. Pasaporte, pasaporte. Ah, pasaporte. ¿Cuántos años tienes? M uh, me? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, 31. Ya Bolivia, ¿dónde vas? Uh, to Pisa? Listo. Okay, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, I think that's it. Now I think we are actually done. Gracias, ciao! There we go! 
We've made it into Bolivia! Woo! Yes! <laughs>